Earth may be the perfect planet for human life, but some planets that exist deep in space are much scarier than you might imagine. Here, on this journey through the cosmos, we will encounter some of the most frightening planets ever discovered. Our first stop takes us to HD 189733b, a planet that could easily be mistaken for a friendly haven from a distance. Its azure glow is reminiscent of our own Earth, a pale blue dot cradling life in the void. But let me assure you, this resemblance is superficial at best. HD 189733b is a world of unimaginable violence. While Earth experiences gentle breezes and the occasional hurricane, this planet is perpetually ravaged by winds exceeding seven times the speed of sound. Imagine standing on a precipice as these winds whip around you, not of air, but of razor-sharp glass shards. These silicate particles transform the very air into a killing machine, a relentless torrent that would shred anything in its path. It's a sobering reminder that beauty, in the vast expanse of the cosmos, can often conceal a terrifying reality. If HD 189733b is a symphony of shredding winds, Kepler 70b is an inferno, a world consumed by a heat more intense than any furnace forged on Earth. Kepler 70b is a world that dances perilously close to its star, completing an orbit in a matter of hours. This proximity has devastating consequences, subjecting the planet to a relentless barrage of stellar radiation, turning its surface into an ocean of molten rock. Imagine a landscape devoid of any familiar landmarks, just a churning sea of lava, its surface a tapestry of fiery orange and blinding yellow. The air itself would be heavy with the stench of sulfur and molten rock, a suffocating and unbearable heat that would melt steel in an instant. It's a stark reminder of the immense power of stars, capable of both giving life and snuffing it out with equal ease. But the universe is a vast and varied tapestry, and our next stop takes us to a world that defies even the most fundamental laws of chemistry. The universe is full of paradoxes, places where the familiar rules of our own world are twisted and contorted, and perhaps nowhere is this more evident than on Gliese 436b, a planet that challenges our very understanding of the states of matter. Imagine a world cloaked in eternal twilight, its surface a bizarre juxtaposition of fire and ice. But this isn't the ice we know here on Earth. This is ice forged under unimaginable pressure, its very existence defying the searing heat that engulfs the planet. Gliese 436b is tidally locked to its star, meaning one side is perpetually bathed in scorching sunlight, while the other shivers in eternal darkness. On the day side, temperatures soar high enough to vaporize water, but the intense gravity of this planet traps the water molecules, preventing them from escaping into space. This trapped water, under the immense pressure of the planet's gravity, forms a bizarre kind of ice, a substance that remains solid even as it burns. It's a terrifying and awe-inspiring reminder that the universe is stranger than we can sometimes even imagine. Chapter 4, Koro 7b, A Planet of Two Hells Our journey through the cosmos now takes us to Koro 7b, a world so extreme that it makes our own planet's most violent volcanoes seem like mere campfires. This is a planet of two extremes where the very surface undergoes a terrifying transformation twice a day. Imagine a landscape bathed in the eerie glow of a crimson sun, the air thick with the suffocating heat of a furnace. This is Koro 7b during its day, a time when temperatures soar beyond 2000 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt rock with ease. The surface of this planet during the day is a roiling ocean of lava, a scene straight out of Dante's Inferno. As the planet rotates, plunging its day side into the cold embrace of space, the temperature plummets dramatically. The molten rock that once flowed freely across the surface begins to cool and solidify, transforming the once liquid inferno into a jagged, unforgiving landscape of obsidian. It's a constant battle between fire and stone, a reminder that the universe is a place of both beauty and unimaginable violence. Chapter 555, Cancri E, the Diamond Planet. Deep in the constellation of Cancer lies a planet that glitters like no other. 55 Cancri E, twice the size of Earth and eight times its mass, is a world shrouded in mystery and allure. Its very composition, a testament to the universe's boundless capacity for wonder. Imagine a planet bathed in the soft glow of its star, its surface shimmering with an otherworldly light. 
This is 55 Cancri E, a planet where the very ground beneath your feet would be composed almost entirely of pure, crystallized carbon. Unlike Earth, where diamonds are a rare and precious commodity, on 55 Cancri E, they are commonplace. The intense pressure and heat deep within the planet have transformed the carbon into a gigantic planet-sized diamond, a celestial treasure trove beyond our wildest dreams. But let me be clear, this dazzling exterior belies a much harsher reality. 55 Cancri E is no diamond in the rough. Its proximity to its star subjects the planet to a relentless barrage of radiation, making the surface far too hot for any life as we know it to exist. It's a stark reminder that even in the depths of space, beauty can be deceiving and the most alluring treasures often come at a terrible cost. Chapter 6, PSR B 1620-26B The Ancient Wanderer Our cosmic journey now takes us to the fringes of the Milky Way galaxy, to a place where time seems to stand still. Here, orbiting a dying star, we encounter PSR B 1620-26B, a planet that has borne witness to the vast expanse of cosmic history. Imagine a planet shrouded in perpetual twilight, its surface illuminated by the faint glow of a dying star. This is PSR B 1620-26B, a gas giant three times the mass of Jupiter, its atmosphere a swirling tapestry of muted colors. But the true wonder of this planet lies not in its appearance but in its age. PSR B 1620-26B is a relic of the early universe, a survivor from a time when stars were young and galaxies were just beginning to form. This ancient wanderer has witnessed the birth and death of countless stars, the collision of galaxies, and the slow, relentless march of time itself. It's a reminder that the universe is far older and stranger than we can possibly imagine, and that our own existence is but a fleeting moment in the grand scheme of things. Chapter 7, Tress 2, B, The Blackest Night. Our exploration of the cosmos now takes us to a place of perpetual darkness, a world so devoid of light that it challenges our very understanding of the universe. This is Tress 2b, a gas giant larger than Jupiter, its surface shrouded in an almost unfathomable blackness. Imagine a planet so dark that it absorbs almost all light that falls upon it. Unlike Earth, where our atmosphere scatters sunlight, casting a blue hue across the sky, on Tress 2b, the sky would be a terrifying, all-encompassing void. This planet reflects less than 1% of the light it receives from its star, making it blacker than coal, blacker than asphalt, blacker than any substance known to humankind. Whatever the cause, Tress 2b stands as a stark reminder that the universe is full of surprises, and that even in the darkest corners of the cosmos, there are still wonders to be found. Chapter 8 Wasp 12. BB, a planet on the brink. Our cosmic journey now takes us to a place where the very forces of nature are locked in a deadly dance, a place where a planet is slowly being devoured by its own star. This is Wasp 12b, a gas giant teetering on the brink of destruction. Imagine a planet so close to its star that its very atmosphere is being stripped away, its material spiraling into the fiery maw of its stellar companion. This is the fate of Wasp 12b a planet caught in the grip of its star's immense gravitational pull. As WASP-12b orbits its star, it's subjected to intense tidal forces stretching the planet into an elongated shape. This gravitational tug is slowly but surely pulling the planet apart, creating a stream of superheated gas that is being siphoned away into the star. This process of planetary cannibalism is a stark reminder of the power of stars, capable of not only giving life but also taking it away on a colossal scale. WASP-12b, in its death throes, serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder of the delicate balance that exists between planets and their stars. Chapter 9. Neptune-like planets, realms of chaos. Our final destination takes us to the outer reaches of star systems, to the realm of gas giants, where storms rage for centuries and winds howl at unimaginable speeds. These are the Neptune-like planets, worlds of chaos and turbulence, where the very forces of nature are amplified to unimaginable extremes. Imagine a planet shrouded in thick layers of swirling gas, its atmosphere a maelstrom of unimaginable fury. These planets, often many times the size of Earth, are home to the most extreme weather in the cosmos. On these gas giants, storms rage for centuries, their swirling vortices spanning thousands of miles across. 
winds, exceeding the speed of sound, whip around the planet creating jet streams that could circle Earth in a matter of hours. These Neptune-like planets stand as a testament to the raw power of nature. A reminder that for all of the tranquility we find on Earth, the universe is a place of constant change and unimaginable violence. The Terrifying Realities of the Universe As we conclude our journey through the cosmos, we are left with a sense of awe and trepidation. The universe is filled with an astonishing diversity of worlds, many of which are far stranger and more terrifying than we could have ever imagined. They remind us that our own planet, for all its beauty and wonder, is but a small and fragile oasis in a vast and often unforgiving cosmos.